today we are going to be attacking the 2015 AMC 8 Problem 23. Tom has 12 slips of paper, which he wants to put into five cups, labeled A, B, C, D, and E. There are five cups, A, B, C, D, and E. He wants to sum all the numbers on the slips in each cup to be an integer. Alright, so sum of slips in each cup is an integer. Our second criteria is that he wants the five integers to be consecutive and increasing from A to E. So it's going to be increasing consecutive numbers from A to E. This means that A would be the smallest and E would be the bigger. And last but not least, the numbers in the papers are 2, 2, 2, 2.5, 2 2.5, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3.5, 4, and 4.5. If a slip with 2 goes in a cup E, and a slip with 3 goes in a cup B, then the slip with 3.5 must go into what cup? the values in each of the cups. And to do that, we'll add the numbers from the slips of papers, and we'll use the fact that the cups are in increasing consecutive order from A to E to help us do that. So let's do some number crunching. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6. 2.5 plus 2.5 is equal to 5. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 12. 3.5 plus 4.5 is 8, and 4 is simply 4. Adding this is all up is 35. So we need to find 5 consecutive numbers that add up to 35. Let's try 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8. This will get us to 30. Let's try 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This will get us to 35, which is what we want. So the consecutive numbers are 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And since, since A is going to be the smallest, then E is going to be the biggest. A is going to be 5, B is going to be 6, C is going to be 7, D is going to be 8, and E is going to be 9. Let's read the question again. Then the slip of 3.5 must go into what cup? Let's try to plug in the value of 3.5 into each of the cups and see which one works out. If you plug the number 3.5 into a cup A, there will be 1.5 left, because 5 minus 3.5 is 1.5. And since the smallest slip is 2, that means there is no slip that's 1.5. Therefore, option A is out. Let's try B. Since there's already a slip of 3 in B, that means there's 3 remaining. And since 3.5 is bigger than 3, Option B is out. Let's try C. If we plug in the value of 3.5 into C, there will be 3.5 remaining. Let's try to use the remaining slips of paper, excluding 3.5, to add up to 3.5. Let's try 4.5. It's too big. 4 is too big. 3, well, there's no 0 0.5, so it doesn't work. 2.5, there's no 1, so it doesn't work. 2, we need a 1.5 for it to add to 3.5, but that doesn't work as well. So, option C is out. Let's try D, which is a total of 8. When we plug in 3.5, we get a 4.5. And there are multiple ways we can make 4.5 from the remaining sleeves of paper, excluding 3.5. We can simply have one sheet of paper, which is 4.5, Oh, we can have a 2 and a 2.5, which are also add up to a 4.5. So D works out. Let's see if we can eliminate E. So E could be our answer. In E, we already have a slip of 2 in it. So we have 7 left. And if we plug in the value of 3.5 into 7, then there will be 3.5 left, which is exactly the same case as C. And we know the C option is bad, 
So the E option must be bad too. This leaves us with answer choice D. Notice that in this problem, we didn't actually find out exactly how many slips should go into which cup. Instead, we used the process of elimination to solve this problem. Problem conquered. Thanks for watching. May the force be with you. See you next time.